All right, so here's the dilemma that some people run into when they're building their e-learning courses. So they have like a template design scheme. In this case, this is our slide master, and there's a, a color design on that. And you want to have that appear consistently through your course. So um, you end up using QuizMaker, and you get something that looks like this following slide. Now, if you notice now, we've got a QuizMaker quiz in here. And um, the quiz itself is going to have its own player structure. So you can see there's drop down questions and those things, your next button. But essentially, the player here that borders the quiz actually is uh, sitting on top of your slide background. So it might not look as integrated to your course as you'd want it to look like. So what I did is I actually went into QuizMaker and made the player transparent. And I'll show you what that looks like. Now, when we look at this quiz, um, we have the same quiz, and what I did was, one is I disabled some of the player functionality, but we have a transparent player. So you've got your quiz content, and the only thing you really have is your next button or submit button, but the rest of the player is transparent, and that allows the uh, PowerPoint slide master to peek through. So depending on how you design the look and feel of your quiz, you'll have something that looks a little more integrated to your entire course. So let me show you how we did that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into the uh, presentation options that you get in Articulate Presenter. So when you look at your presentation options here, you're going to have the ability to include the slide master behind your quizzes and interactions. So this is going to work with QuizMaker or Engage09. And what you do is you just make sure you select this. And what that will do is the slide background or the backgrounds for QuizMaker and Engage will become transparent. And that will allow um, the slide master background to come through. So we want to make sure that's selected. Now in the case of that template, when we look at that first one here, this has a player structure. So that's still there. So it's going to show on top of your slide master. So what you'll want to do is go into QuizMaker and make your entire player here transparent. So let's go into QuizMaker. And this is our uh, quiz. And what I do is I just go to Player Templates. And you'll notice here on the Player Templates, I've got a number of templates. And I actually have one that I just created that I call Transparent. So whenever I want to use that, I just select that. Now, if we uh, go into that. Let's edit this. And what that does is you can see on your player template builder here, you've got a number of options. So if we go into the colors and effects, you can see I have a color scheme that I just call transparent one. And if you go to edit your colors, you're going to get a window. And then you'll notice that everything that is on your um, player that you can edit, you've, you've got here as choose an item to edit. And then you'll see there's quite a few. So you can you've got your frame, the text, your buttons, um, timer, scroll bars, all that stuff. So what I do is I just go into the frame and you just select something. And if it's allows you to change the transparency, just make it 100% transparent. And then you'll notice eventually it just cleans all that up. So if I change this here, let's make change this to 20% transparent. I can see now what it made transparent. So it made this part of the frame uh, transparent So, uh, or brought the color back. So I can just go ahead and make it 100% transparent. And now it's uh, transparent. And then when you sit it on your slide, it's going to be uh, not visible, which will allow the slide master to go through. Now, because I made my player transparent and all I have now is my quiz screen, I went ahead and disabled all of those uh, menu features. So if we get out of here, and you come back into your layout. You've got your display settings where you can have the point values and that drop down menu and your question list, all that stuff, your timer. I just went ahead and disabled that. So when you're actually looking at your quiz, all you see is the quiz screen and then the submit button. Hope that helps.